Welcome to Asset Logic, the video series where we're answering your questions. I'm Todd Smith and I'll be your host. Throughout this video series, we're going to cover things that we're experts in. So SEO, web design, web development, PPC, social media, photography, and videography. That's why we wanted to start Ask Lifted Logic to help serve out content to people who aren't just our clients. Because the more you guys know, the better decisions you can make. And you kind of and you kind of touched on like the difference between like front end and back end. Do most people identify as one or the other? Um, it depends. Um, there's certainly preferences, and I think a lot of developers have a preference. But there are some developers that consider themselves full stack developers. Uh, that would be someone that does both. Um, they're comfortable working in uh, the front end languages, which are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and they're comfortable working in back end languages like PHP or Ruby. Mm-hmm. Uh, and would you consider yourself full stack? At, yeah. this, at this point? Yeah. But you started out as front-end. I did. And Lifted Logic basically forced the evolution of Aaron to a full-stack developer. Basically. Uh, but it's just, it's, it's nice, though, because obviously it's, you, you want to grow and learn. And, um, That's probably why you got into in the first place. Exactly. When you're doing the same thing over and over again, like you're not growing and learning. So getting put into new situations, working on new types of projects with different types of clients uh, just gives you an opportunity to learn. Yeah, I mean that's one thing I think that's really cool about working at Lifted Logic is between the designs and the clients, like it's very rarely it's never the same thing. Right. Right. So like there, there might be like similarities that you take from one like build to the next, but like overall it's still gonna be different. Feel free to hashtag AskLL on social media and we'll get to them as quickly as we can. But keep in mind there are no stupid questions, especially in the digital space.